knows these two guys? Remember well, us? for those that don't, uh, we'll happily reintroduce ourselves. So, my name is R.J. Thompson. This is Kent Kerr. Good to meet everybody. Glad I've met before. Um, and so tonight we have some design work to show to you, and I'm going to preface it a little bit with the, the survey results, and then we'll unveil it, and you guys can come up and take a look at it. Let us know what you think, and then uh, from there we'll just have some open dialogue and, and discussion. So <clears throat> some of you filled out the survey that we sent out uh, where we asked basically what your, um, you know, how long have you been in the, neighbor, uh, the neighborhood, how long have you been a stakeholder. We got responses from as little as 10 months up to 74 years. So there was a nice spectrum of, of folks that responded to the survey. Uh, tell us about a great m uh, memory of, of living in Handles. Um, we have the best neighbors growing up in the neighborhood, family walks to Handles and Scarcellas. Um, some people would say would, uh, I would go to Handles before and after dark, which is a compliment. Uh, <laughs> raising our children in the area. So the, the feedback on that particular question was really quite positive. Um, where do you see the neighborhood in 10 years? Uh, the most sought out neighborhood to live in in Youngstown, so this is more idealistic, um, very prosperous, one of the most desirable neighborhoods to live in in the city. Uh, a lot of uh, that particular type of feedback, which is really positive. Um, <clears throat> hope to see it go back to the friendly neighborhood it once was. So there's some, some uh, you know, uh, a little bit of nostalgia. A little bit of nostalgia, yeah. So uh, that helps us shape what we're about to show you. Uh, additional questions in brand values. What are the five positive words that uh, best represent the Handles neighborhood? Uh, we've gotten diverse, vibrant, uh, access friendly, walkable, creative, resourceful, trustworthy, all really great uh, points of, of pride, really. Please list three messages that the New Handles neighborhood brand needs to communicate to potential residents, business owners, and stakeholders. This is an important question because in the previous uh, questions, you're saying we want this neighborhood to be really prosperous, and part of that means bringing folks in to, to buy houses, start businesses, and really um, you know, put their money into their investment in the Handles neighborhood. Uh, some of these responses were great housing stock, Youngstown's new, bold, and most unique neighborhood. Um, and that panning hand motion was described in the results. Uh, so I was obligated to do that. Historic preservation, walkability, uh, friendly, up and coming neighborhoods. So there's a lot of consistency in the results. Why should someone invest in Handel's neighborhood? Great value. Handles ice cream, strive for a better tomorrow, today, that's very lofty, but uh, commendable. It is a beautiful, pardon me, and safe neighborhood, and is full of people who have already invested in making it a better place. Uh, people in the area are willing to work to, you know, beautify the neighborhood and uh, have pride in it. Um, visual attributes, so this is where some of uh, this work comes into play. Which three characteristics would you choose to describe a, a new Handles neighborhood brand? The, these were the words. Unique, beautiful, diverse, neighborly, humble, residential, friendly, accessible, safe, spirited, growing, and walkable. The most common out of that was neighborly, unique, diverse, safe, and growing. <clears throat> So these are the words that we use to give visual life uh, to this work. And then, what colors best represent the Handles neighborhood? Purple, yellow, blue, yellow and purple, green, blue and white. Most of the responses were green and blue, all right? Uh, green, blue and white, actually. So what's great about that is through the focus groups that, and the design shreds that we had, a lot of you identified that you don't want to be connected to the Handles Corporation brand, which is uh, found in these responses with the blue, green, and white. Um, and then I had you choose colors that you didn't want associated. Orange, red, pink, uh, Handles blue, which is a darker blue, 
purple. So some of these were uh, counter to the previous results of uh, the, uh, uh, that last question. And then what emotional connections do you want associated with the Handles neighborhood? Caring, safe, secure, beautiful. Uh, someone said no idea, which is fine. Safety and optimism. And one person said, I have lived here 54 years and raised my family here. So there's this, this idea of legacy and, and safety through that. How would you describe the new Handles uh, neighborhood brand to a friend? Preferably someone that doesn't live here. Clean, crisp, vibrant. Your place to live, safe, accessible. Um, start of a new chapter, okay? It introduces the past to the future, so um, there's some, oh, and uh, this one was uh, uh, the grandeur of the 1940s without the stigma of the era. So that was very specific, but these are all great responses, okay? Um, which one of these logo formats do you believe would best represent a Handles brand? And we showed you visual examples in the survey, and you could choose one. Um, and most folks wanted something that was very unique, had a style to it, and didn't want something that could easily be replicated. So it, it couldn't be comparable. Uh, so completely unique. The and opposite of corporate. The opposite of corporate, exactly. And hand-drawn. It looks like it, it is hand-drawn and illustrated. Uh, so that adds itself to its uniqueness. And then um, we asked you for additional thoughts, and this was the last question. And uh, one person said, looks pretty good. <laughs> I don't know what they're referring to, but I'm assuming the neighborhood, and it looks pretty good. So good on you guys for, for making a good-looking neighborhood. Um, and then make the neighborhood the most convenient place in, uh, uh, in the Mahoning Valley. They didn't say to live, work, play, or learn, just the most convenient place. Okay. So uh, bearing that in mind, that's the context for this work. And what we do is we take that emotional content and we give it line, shape, color, value, texture, and it resulted in a number of concepts that we presented here to, a, uh, to the public. It was a small group that showed up. Um, I think we were having some weather throughout that time, yeah. so it was a little hard. Flooding, big surprise. Yeah, so, um, but we showed those logos off and we had some really great feedback from that. And we took the best of that feedback and put that into uh, one singular solution. And uh, we'll go ahead and show that to you. After. Yeah, so clearly we designed around the no idea guy. All that other stuff we just threw out the door and said, no idea, we'll just swing it. <laughs> um, so no, you might have heard some repeat terms, community, value, prosperity, um, safety, friendliness. So a lot of those terms do have what we call positive color association, and we do want to make sure we capitalize on that. Thankfully, blues and greens definitely fall within that category, so we can represent a lot of those traits with those color sets. Uh, as far as handwritten script is concerned, again, we ran a focus group and got a lot of great feedback, what resonated, what didn't. So hopefully we were able to uh, revise and remedy and come to a nice solution with all of that. So <clears throat> we're going to flip the board. There is a fair amount of writing on here, so we invite everybody to come up. Uh, get a little FaceTime with the camera, do a little reading if you haven't had the opportunity to uh, engage with the survey or engage with either of us and ask questions, okay? Uh, and then we'll elaborate on it a little more, a little more thoroughly. Yep. Okay. So, here we go. Try not to wreck this easel. Okay. So, whenever you come up here, just within the context of the board, we have your previous marks, as we can see Your here. Your gateway signage. Your gateway oh, signage yeah. and the association. So we would consider that uh, fractured or bifurcated. So here we're representing a new mark that can be represented in two different ways. Down here is scalability orientation variation. So different colors, black and white if need be for um, limited media. And this we call knockout white can be represented in different color sets, something we can see down here in the signage, the shirts, and the producibles, the deliverables. Uh, basically the visual identity in context uh, in being used. Uh, here, this is actually the concept map that we have run, I think, the second session? Yes, uh, in the so, other room here. Uh, Handel's residents created this with 
dry erase markers and post-it notes. I just digitized it. Uh, this can be found online. Here are the most actionable terms that we had just discussed and RJ just talked about with his survey. Uh, the colors and their meaning and the different components of the brand. As well as where you can find us and where you can find this work represented on Handel's Neighborhood social media. So I would say in an orderly fashion, everybody can step up and gather around the board and um, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Yeah, come on up. Come check it out. And we'll, we'll address any questions that, that you may have uh, in the meantime. Yeah, don't everybody. Uh... No, I can Doug said his handicap was too far. <laughs> but he's lying. So even if you can see it from back there, there is a fair amount of uh, descriptors here as well as some more detail in the photos. So uh, Dan Matthews, do you notice that the age has been changed to fit your uh, comments? <laughs> so, we were listening, absolutely. <laughs> you know, one thing that's really important when you're looking at this is, you, you know, reading the, uh, the description of this because after this work is done, it's up to you guys to, to give it its essential spirit in life and use in the community. So that t-shirt, you're going to have to retire it because we got to make you a new one. Well, it'll be, it'll be <laughs> a historical, Handel's historical museum. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Will that be in your garage? God knows there's no room in my garage. <laughs> So, to RJ's point in the survey, vibrant, friendly, attractive, diverse, close-knit, quaint, historic, safe, walkable, fun, affordable, beautiful, proud, neighborly, creative, trustworthy, unique, and accessible. Uh, a lot of opportunity and a lot of desire to see progression and upward growth. So, we did uh, give everything a nice forward push so that it feels like it is moving forward. Uh, the oblique the italicized H, the oblique H, create a sense of dynamic movement that's ever present, moving forward, moving upward. Uh, community was a big term here. That has a strong association with uh, blues, here being represented by a nice, bright, friendly, contemporary blue. Uh, and having that in the icon and the logo, a strong <laughs> sense of shared progression and unification in the logo type. This suggests a tightly knit community and a strong sense of progression. Heard my name. Uh, clean and legible type in the subtitles, so neighborhood and neighborhood association. We want that to be legible and accessible. See it from a distance. Uh, a strong handwritten logo type solution that resonated with most people. This keeps it playful, personable, and accessible, friendly, legible. So we definitely wanted to refine this so you could see it from a distance. Since everybody thought that they could see it from where they were standing and didn't feel that's a good to sign. That's a good sign. Yes, absolutely. You can read it from the cheap seats. Well, that's one thing. There is a subtle overlap and tone shift. This creates a sense of depth and tangibility, like you can feel it, touch it. But can you do that? I mean, if, wouldn't that be possible for them to put that on t-shirts? I mean, you can do that on signs, but like if you're going to print on shirts, to have that fade. Not at all. That is what we're seeing right here. So if, we, if you wanted to just print white on color, all you have to do is screen that out. It's still a single color, still very yeah. cost effective. So, all the branding should really just say neighborhood. I mean, we're the association, and I'd be cool with having t-shirts for it, but all the branding really shouldn't say association, should it? Well, technically, since this was uh, grant funded from the Ween Foundation, uh, we operated under that premise. We're approaching it from, it's a both. It represents both the association and the neighborhood. This kind of streamlines the identity of both essentially separate entities. What we want to do is remove this divide here, this bifurcation of yeah. brand. Get it unified. If you want to use association, great. It's very good. Well, all, but all I'm saying is that I would wear an association shirt, but the branding shouldn't be about the association because so this is the association right yes. here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Right. right. So if it you just says neighborhood, line, that, right. that that's that's all of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I don't I don't like the association term at all. 
I don't mind. Like I said, I wouldn't mind if we made shirts and we. You if know, it's a club, if we type want, yeah, right. you know, if we want to wear well, our own shirts. Yeah, wait, that's going back to what happened, <coughs> how it became a, uh, an association instead of a block watch was we had a gentleman from the state of Ohio, the Realtors Board, that said, whenever these outside companies come into an area, they look and they go, oh man, there must be a lot of crime in that city. They have. 50 block watches in their city but if they come in and they say oh that city has a lot going on because they have 50 association which means it's not a block watch it, right. it's, it's an active association that's that's getting other things done other than fighting crime and that right. and that's how the association part came into play well, and so that was in the advice of you know that's when uh, Valorec was coming into the area, and, and they were very picky about what was going on in the area. They told these communities, look, we don't want to see blight. We want to see a nice, clean neighborhood when we bring our clients into our factory. We want that to be clean and clear to everybody. So that's, that's why the association name was put on. So we, I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be on there, but that right. was the reason for the association. Yeah, and, and that's great. And, and relative to what we presented to Ween, you know, we always presented this as this was a branding solution for the neighborhood, and then the association, it's a merger of these two things, so right. they're not separate entities. Right. So, you know, if there was a block watch, hypothetically, something different, or a community garden, for example, you could say handles neighborhood community garden. So we're able to introduce sub-branding to that whenever a new program comes about. So it's versatile in that respect. Well, I also want you to keep in mind here that sometimes we have it with, with and without. So you can certainly change it as easy as that. <laughs> yeah, the, the well, an association is a group of people <laughs> The neighborhood is also a group of people, but more. Yeah. <coughs> if if this is seen out in the wild, like on T-shirts or uh, light post banners, bus ads, it would say neighborhood. We wouldn't want it to say association. Correct. That Correct. needs to be Correct. made explicitly clear. Correct. Because uh, we're not promoting the association; we're promoting the neighborhood. neighborhood. Right. Yeah. And what you're looking at here, to the point of uh, reproduction, um, that is still one color screen. If that causes problems, uh, let's say a less high fidelity print, we can certainly knock it out solid white and it doesn't corrupt or lose any of the personality of the brand. Um, One additional point is that through some of the feedback that we received, um, you know, people really like seeing this, so this here is called a logo type. They really just like seeing that without the icon. And out of the focus groups, we discovered that there was a need for this icon. So in some circumstances, that can act independently, or the icon can act independently. Over time, that would, uh, in, depending on the use in the neighborhood, it would become synonymous with the neighborhood. And there is strength in that in certain cases. So if you look here, standing alone, that icon does carry a pretty strong presence. Here, the logo type is not present. But if the uh, feedback is that this works better alone and you want to use that in controlled environments, that's an option. I like it. Yeah. Um, I guess to his point and then to the point, larger point that I'm making is we designed this to be very flexible. Yep. If you want to use association, use it. If not, <coughs> take it off. If you want to separate these two, it's, it's a shared uh, shared typography, it still holds up. And we also needed to be sensitive to David's back because he agreed to get a full body back tattoo of whatever we produced. So, and it would be vertical too, so go right up his spine. It's going to be really painful. Well, but know. the front is going to have the, the uh, public. Yes, uh, yeah, it's going to have the additions. I'm going to have that on lunch. Which serves to a couple oh, yeah, different purposes back. because Dave's that could be a cross down. or it could be public logo. Right. right. So, it serves a couple different purposes, just like this. 
It's flexible. It's you know, we'll pay you. You'll different. be our walking billboard. There you go. Uh, I need a job. But you're going to have to be shirt off like the entire time. I'm sorry, guys, if that offends you. Uh, for those of you who are less uh, adventurous and don't want a full body tattoo, did you tattoo, give one to Craig? You can. You can have a branding. Did he give you one? There you what go. What the heck? There, there you go. He doesn't get one. Uh, so yeah, if you want a sports magnet or what is it? So Sticker. let's talk about next steps. So what comes next, Trisha? How much was the grant again? It's like 48, 47? 47? 48. 49. 49. Okay. 50. Yeah, forty-nine fifty. So four thousand nine hundred fifty. So we have, we have a lot of money to use to incorporate this branding into all manner of media, light post banners, T-shirts, stickers, um, whatever you guys may want to show off your handless pride. We can we, we can produce that with the the money that we've been given from the Wien neighborhood Fish. associations. Are there in the city actively? Uh, are they all doing this? No, they no. Just because you don't want to, or because they're not interested. So think of it this way: um, you're doing this, and now Oak Hill wants to do it, and Fifth Avenue Neighbors wants to do it. So you've set the standard. You're, Are we the first? You're the first. You're the model. Yes. What's so the, uh, second. What's that? Rocky Ridge is probably first. Rocky Ridge, yes, but we didn't do that. No. You yeah. Oh. But you're right, Rocky Ridge did hire Sandra to, to do their branding, so they set that standard. Yeah, but and they, now, you know, that's... Have they started yet at Rocky Ridge? Have they? What's that? <laughs> oh, nice, nice. <laughs> uh, Rocky Ridge has had theirs in place for years. Oh. Their process differed from ours in that we're completely public facing, so this design was built based on your collective feedback and participation in the surveys. In the focus groups. Where they use clip art instead. <laughs> <laughs> but the, to your point about the association point, uh, when, when people talk about where do you live, I live in Rocky Ridge, I, I think we want that to be, I live in Handles. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Oh, absolutely. So I think the, the more we de-emphasize association, which we, we probably emphasize first to start this, uh, the more neighborhood notoriety we're going to get. Agreed. Yeah, that's right. yeah that's here, right. actually my point is I yeah. don't really want the association. Well, that. how about this? And if there's like a way that you could diversify the brand to make it a little more accessible. So if you want to handle some neighborhood shirt, maybe that's represented by the white with the full color. Maybe the association shirts are blue or vice versa. Well, I don't versa. think you have to have no. association shirts. We're just I think the, the association, the neighborhood is this. Yeah, well, that would be this, and the association is this. Well, that would be like um, us wearing black and our interns wearing white. Correct. That would be yeah. just a way to. I mean, the association has to have. It still has to remain an association yeah. group that meets on a monthly basis or week or every quarter. That has to remain an association. The neighborhood thing is a total different thing. I mean, it's a, the neighborhood, and you want to promote the neighborhood. Yep, and, that, and that's I, I like a lot of these ideas. Or and again, that's the premise. So, what's nice is we have a flexible system that can be applied to multiple programs or entities, um, and it cleans up this confusion. Um, so now it's one singular system. So you know, hypothetically, we could use some of that grant money to you know redesign the gateway signage. Uh, the best points of exposure are going to be light post banner, t-shirts, gateway signage to really create that effect. And then however you choose to use the logos in your social media, on your website, etc., will reinforce that. Yeah, and to the point of this, if there is some concern about the uh, complexity of that variation, this could be easily 3D printed like, get, to get that variation. Sure. I only brought it up because sitting back there, I didn't see it, and then I got up yeah. there and oh, I was sure. like, first I thought, and I was more concerned with most shirts, silk silk <laughs> Most shirts are silk screen. Most shirts are silk screen, so I'm just wondering how you're gonna yep. like you could you know you could print out any banner yeah. that way, but when it came to t-shirts, I didn't know how to so, do that. So so what they and correct me where I'm wrong, but what they do is they'll mix the, the two colors together and then they'll they'll spread it and that creates the gradient. So in a lot of circumstances, like that gradient will have slightly different variations from shirt to shirt to shirt until they bring in a new screen and lay down new color. So what's cool about that is okay. each shirt is kind of unique in how it's produced. 
uh, assuming the unanimous decision is you want to stick with the icon. If they end up just going, if you just want that on the shirt, totally an option. So again, flexibility, you would not be corrupting or okay. taking away from the brand. So, yeah. so there we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We the peace. That's cool. Well, thank you for uh, checking this out. 20, 30 years ago, you're, okay. you can tell your brand, well, not me, <laughs> not 20 years from now, but we can tell our grandkids when they see that logo in the neighborhood that, you know, we were part of that. We, as a group, if, made that decision. If you'd like, we'll take photos of everyone, or if you want photos in front of the board, we're, like, we'll... we'll I have to wear the sticker on my... No, you don't have to. Put it on your paint marker. We're, we're yeah. certainly not going to tell you no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's from the iron. That's my... We got four. Um, so, Dave, yeah. Trisha, definitely you guys, if you don't mind, four get a photo of you. Original, yeah. Yeah, yeah, four <laughs> No, keep it going. Dave, what? You. Tell me. I didn't hear what you said. I said, Dave, done. come over here. We want to get a photo of you. You're awful boss. You and Tricia. Is very, it? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then uh, if, if anyone else would like a photo. Gracie, you want to come great. Come take yeah, a photo. Yeah, you're an original. <laughs> Poland, you're an original. Uh, Jim, you're yeah. original. Jim, Jim, Jim Murphy, Jim. you're an original. Yeah. Original. Everyone's original. welcome. We got four originals, Jim. Okay. There, there's, there's four of us we that have put kept this glued yeah, together for the last that's fine. Yeah. couple yeah. years. They better be up yeah, there. Yeah, if, if you want to fill this space too yeah. here, that's fine. Because if it yes. wasn't for us four, the glue yeah, just kept the glue together, it wouldn't be here. You can stand in front of our sign. This is what was born here. That's right. Oh, right. That's go. right. Gracie gets in this photograph. Right. Okay. <laughs> you good? Mr. Miner, well, you should be up here too. You think so? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> please, please, come on in. Yeah, yeah. That's the color of this. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Always need a guy like you. <laughs> All right, well, you keep us amused, right? All right. Everybody say handles. 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 All right. Wonderful. Uh, cool. Well, I was thank you all my very nose. much. Is that all right? What's that? I was picking my nose. Is that all right? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, actually, <laughs> can I get you center frame? I'm frame getting some of this humor because <laughs> I read all the stuff that you and your daughter go through. Oh my through. God, like, yeah, oh, don't even get me started. I took two pictures and I'm going to put it on a loop with you yeah. with picking and you with not. Yeah, we're going to make a meme out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah this is, this is what It'll be on one of the banners, out. right? <laughs> It'll be on one of the banners. It'll be like this with me on the banner. It'll be on TV. You'll be going like, pick. Looking for a new neighborhood, pick handles. <laughs> there you go, that's awesome. That would actually probably be really popular. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. that's a hoot. Would, uh, would you guys like to hold on to that for a while, or we'll hold on to it? Do you want to obviously send the, uh, the copy of it. Yeah. Or you shot her. I know it's we don't want to you and, and you two. And you got the copy machine over here. Gracie, can I get a picture of you with my sticker on? You and your daddy? I got to put a sticker on it. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Tolan, why weren't you up here? Is you, are you in protection, uh, the uh, witness protection program or what? Come on over. They just got on the business. He can pick you up and he can pose right here. Nah. The next batch we get, we're going to make it easier to get hard. Grace Ball, she has her sticker on. All right. There we go. Hey, how old are you? You're five? Oh my gosh. You're, you're older than, than my daughter. Can you tell she loves her daddy? There you go. So, you don't mind. There you go. Let's get that on your logo. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Good job. Good job. Cool. All right. Well, it looks like you've got your resource. You guys done or you? Yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna take as many pictures as you guys will tolerate. Oh God. All right. Hey Jen, do you want to talk to us out there? Yeah, we're almost there. Okay, that's right. Thank you guys. Thank you. So what do you think?